Hello, my name's Arthur. Age 35, I thought I'd take up white collar boxing. So I found this little gym in Houston. It's gonna help me train for the big fight coming up soon. Follow me. Boxers have to go through different energy systems. Um, it's not just coming in, jumping mm. in the ring and sparring. You need to be able to have anaerobic fitness, aerobic fitness. Um, also, the, just the fitness of getting punched or something. Like that. That's a fitness in itself. Um, so, a typical regime would be you've got to go out and do your runs, um, your long endurance runs, which is anything up to 45 minutes, three to five miles sort of mm -hmm. thing. Um, then you also got to do your short, sharp bursts of um, running, so hill sprints. Um, and also we also do track work, so we'll get down the track and do 800 meters, 400 meters, 60 mm. meter sprints. Um, that's the cardio side of it. And then obviously we need the strength and conditioning, so and the technique work as well. So most boxers would be in the gym quite a lot during the week, maybe six times a week. Uh, Even come at down. the white collar level, would you get? Yeah, I mean, it's it all depends how seriously you're taking it. Yeah. I mean, if you're if you're not taking it serious, you'll come down and just hit the bags and go yeah. and, and fight. Uh, people like yourself, you're really really on it. He's he told me he does his runs and stuff. Yeah. Um, they will come down and do the strength and conditioning circuits. He'll come down to sparring to learn the technique inside of it. Um, I mean, you can come down and do all your strength and conditioning and your running, and you can be really, really fit. You get in this ring, it's a completely different fitness yeah, level. Um, you're breathing. People, like, it, it takes a lot of you just getting hit. A lot of people come down and they're super fit. They, they've run all their life. They've done classes. They've got a sporting mm. background. They jump in the ring. Two minutes in this ring feels like an eternity. Yeah. <laughs> Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one and the only Frank the what? What's your fighting name? I don't have a nickname. Frank the Fairy is in contention Frank the at the moment. <laughs> Ferocious Frank. Of Frank the Tank. Frank the Fairy. Frank is going to give us a quick 101 on how to use the floor to ceiling ball. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just sort of um. get whacked in the face fight. So Frank's the expert. Drop your rap, Frank. Let's see what you got. Come on. I floor, don't know if floor to ceiling ball. The, the experts. This is how they do it. I don't know if I'm an expert, but this is what I've seen people do. So this is probably one of the most famous things in boxing, is the speed ball. You recognise it from Rocky. Frank is about to release his own uh, DVD series soon about boxing fitness and skills. But here he is dem <laughs> demonstrating the speed ball. Fast as you can go, Frank. Much better than Frank. Oh, this might be one thing I reckon I'm better than you than Frank. I think so. Yeah, already, watch this, watch this. Go. This is what you do. I think you do that. That's it. That's it. So I'm in sales. Uh, I work at Schroeder's uh, <laughs> Finance. Uh, so like that know. most of the day? Yeah, like that most of the day. So we're talking a lot of stuff, talking yeah. about things I don't really necessarily know about. <laughs> yeah. um, but I mean, this is, this is really good fun. And I mean, getting in there is uh, it's a big adrenaline rush. And really how good. do you feel about it? Because we've got the fight coming up soon. Yeah. Nerves kicking in yet? Yeah, well, actually, so I've basically employed my sister to be my trainer. And, uh, Unfair advantage, noted. <laughs> and um, uh, she was talking about my opponent yesterday, and I just got so nervous. Uh, you know, I, I went out for like, a run afterwards because I was just like, I've got to be fitter, I've yeah. got to be stronger. We have a desired weight to get to, so if you've got to lose four or five pounds, um, food wise, 
we'll, we'll get in more nutritious um, nutrients and vitamins through fresh fruit, vegetables and stuff. Not eating, you need the energy, but we need to really tailor it down a little bit. So an example would be, breakfast would be your carbs, like a porridge, mm -hmm. um, just to, to get you through the day. Um, after training, you'd eat some sort of protein. My personal favorite shot is the left hook to the body. Um, if you land that, it's a piece of a shot. Um, obviously, most people are orthodox, so the way they stand, their body, their liver is located on the right hand side of the body, just underneath, the, underneath their rib cage. And if you just screw it, land that liver shot. The liver shot? The liver shot. The then, left liver shot. Left liver shot. Their, uh, your body just, that's an inflammatory response. Your body just shuts down, hence why you see boxers thinking, yeah, they go down just on one knee, that's it. That's my favorite shot in boxing. Go in, just back up, swing. I want you to move the gun squid. Yeah, they are not staying in the same spot. Yeah, move the gun squid. Every, every time you throw a point, step in, it's like a car. Up way. One, two. Okay. okay, so on this journey to my white collar boxing match, uh, I've realised I'm not actually very good at boxing. So what I've done is come to Nottingham to meet former IBO welterweight champion, seven times defense of the title, Jarway, too sleek, Kalik. Um, I've got this fight coming up. Yeah, yeah. A bit nervous <laughs> about it. I really enjoy it, but I'm not a natural. Now what are you moving that way as you're doing it? Yeah, one, that's the worst way you can move. The fitness regime, what would be, well, in the run up to the IBO fights, what would um, be a typical week for you roughly? I think, I think most mornings um, we'll go to the gym, we'll do, we'll do a run. Um, usually, I used to run some, a lot of the time before my training and then come and train afterwards. Um, it might be six, eight rounds on the bags, skipping, um, pad work, sparring, it can be, and then circuit. Most, most, most sessions I'd finish off with a circuit. Um, and then have a few hours break, maybe come back to the gym, do an, a, another session. Uh, it could be another technical, technical se session or it could be sparring. Uh, and then rest in the evening, you know, occasionally I might have a third session, but most of the time it was just two sessions. And that'd be and every that day? Would, that would be six days a week. You know, every day, um, there's a day you might be sparring eight, ten rounds and you get absolutely battered. And the next day, you come in with a sore nose and you think, oh, you know, I can't even do this. But yeah. as you warm into it, and, and that sort of mentally toughens you up as well, more than, uh, as well as physical, yeah. you know, because boxing is a lot more mental than it is physical. Um, the top guy sort of will, know, will, will tell you that. Yeah. yeah. What's your favourite punch? My favourite punch um, is probably my jab. It's, uh, it's helped me. A lot has helped me win fights, uh, keeps an opponent away from you, sets up the big power shots, um, and, uh, and, and can be a brilliant, brilliant punch. Obviously, it's quite a controversial sport, boxing, yeah. because you are hurting people. How do you feel? Is there a sense of guilt afterwards, or is it that just the sport, that's the rules? I think, I think um, at the time, a lot of people get a bit of a buzz out of it. I was always a bit too nice, and, and I used to feel a bit guilty, and I used to feel a bit bad when, I, when I'd hit people. But, uh, when they hit you back, you sort of just want to go and attack them. But yeah, it is, it is a contact sport. And, and I don't think any boxer intentionally wants to hurt the opponent. I think it's just the nature of the sport where um, the adrenaline is pumping and you're, you're going for each other. And, uh, and, and yes, we are trying to hit, hit, knock each other out, but nobody wants to, because uh, they know the, 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 what, what, what the outcomes can be and how dangerous the sport is for themselves and the opponent. So I think most boxers have the respect and they don't want to hurt the opponent. What sort of uh, regime would you recommend in terms of training? Um, um, I think for the white collar, the main thing is to be fit. Make sure you're fit because it's a very fast paced uh, fight. Any, 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 any um, two minute round fight is very, very fast and you have to be really, really super, super fit. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> but if you have a little bit of boxing, um, ability as well makes a bonus. So if you just work on footwork and your basic and your, and your jab, keeping an opponent away from you, try not to get involved in the mm -hmm. fight. Uh, as much as we say this, it, it always becomes a fight in a sense. You know, you just start swinging. Um, most people do when, 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 when they've got the white collars. Uh, but a lot of the white collar haven't got that much experience. So if you just work on your jab and a little bit of footwork, keeping away from, from getting hit, um, it makes a massive difference.
white collar boxing is getting big yeah. uh, in the UK, really big. And, uh, you know, I, I, my brother-in-law himself is actually doing a fight coming up soon. And I told him I was going to be speaking to you. Um, is there one sort of tip or like one thing that novice boxers or people just getting into boxing or fighting or any sort of combat sport should be doing with their nutrition from day one to get themselves sort of on the right track? If you, if you, if you look at sports, you, can have, you could split fitness into two categories. Um, one, one category is cardiovascular fitness, the, the body's ability to repay the oxygen debt. And the other fitness is a muscular fitness. Mm. You'll get bodybuilders that are tremendously muscular fit, but not very cardiovascular fit. Yeah. You'll get some boxers that are very cardiovascular fit, but not very muscular fit. Mm. And most cardiovascular athletes don't eat enough protein. And if we don't eat enough protein, how can we have those building blocks for the muscles to repair from the trauma of training? Arthur. Good luck, Arthur, and <laughs> eat plenty of protein. <laughs> Unfortunately, disaster has struck and I have resurfaced an old injury as part of the training, which is absolutely heartbreaking at this point. Two weeks away from the fight, um, my knee just went um, the other day and um, I've been to see a physio and apparently it's through the back. I have just been to see a back specialist at great personal expense to try and uh, get to the bottom of this knee slash back injury and see if I can still fight in two weeks. And um, the good news is that most things seem to be working okay and that um, he reckons I can still risk it. It is a new low today when I joined the local gym and I was walking up and down a tiny little pool and was overtaken by a swarm of older ladies who were there for a class. So I'm going to be pitched against some big brute next week in a ring and he's got top form and I'm being overtaken by some cute old ladies in as well they are. So I've been to the physio again and uh, she's given me five pages of exercises, um, 27 different stretches and exercises to try and sort my knee out uh, and back before the fight. But I've still one week to go now and I haven't been on a run for a week or done anything like that. So. Let's hope this stuff works. Alright, we're ready to go. Arthur Pugh, here he is. He's been waiting a long time for this. He looks calm, he looks focused. Let's see how he goes. Take your time, brother. That's it, man. Just take your time. He's taking a few steps back here, but it's all good. Panicking a little bit, but don't worry, right. he's got it. Oh, I'm excited. Hold your ground, my friend. Come on, Arthur. Stick the jab out, Arthur. You, that's it. Good, good. Right. You need to stick the jab out here, my friend. Clean, clean. Save your energy there. Oh, I can't commentate because I'm so excited. All right, Arthur. He's, he's moving a little bit. His, his legs, his legs look a little bit unsteady, but he's just nervous. We're going to see that jab come out in a minute from him. The other guy's holding the centre of the ring, that's better Arthur. Two good fighters here. They're both up for it. They're both up for it. They're both up for it. A little tumble there, it's okay. It's okay, everything's all good. Arthur, jab! 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 Arthur, you need to jab, my friend. Okay, a little bit of early nerves. It's fine, it's all good. Right, back to, back to the action, here we go. Okay, the other guy's putting out a nice good jab. The action's calmed down a little bit, that's what we need. We need the pace to slow down a little bit. Arthur stepping up there. Just needs to step in behind that jab a little bit more. The other guy's throwing with bad intentions here. But it's okay because Arthur's a tough lad. He's clinching, he's up against the ropes. Arthur just needs to cool down a little bit here. He needs to cool down a little bit. You can see him stepping behind that jab. right now because I'm so excited. That's a good shot. Right hand. Keep it simple, my friend. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Oh, no. Keep it simple, man. Arthur, keep it simple, brother. Jab right hand. Keep it simple. Arthur's getting a little bit, a little, a little bit animated. 
excited him, it's all good. You just need to throw, keep it very simple. It's early nerves, he'll be fine when he comes out for round two. The other guy, the other guy, fair, fair credit to him, he's a good fighter, throwing some good hooks. That's okay, that's okay. Blue wins the first round. Blue wins the first round. But it's okay, this is a three round fight. This is a three round fight. To get some good instructions in the ring from Young Aaron. Young Aaron, a great fighter. Probably tell him to cool down, calm down. Unlike the commentator. Woo! Baby. Come on, Arthur. Come on, Arthur. Come on, lad. Come on, lad. Just jab him. Just jab him. Okay, here we go for round two. I need the pace to slow down a little bit here. Arthur's moving a bit more now. The corner told him to move. That's better. He's throwing a few shots back at him now. That's better. Good job. Good job. Good job. That's it. He needs to just jab. That's it. Good lad. Good lad. Come on, lad. Good, clean, crisp right hand there. Throw from Arthur Q. Landed flush on the mark. That's what we need. Move. Up sensible. That's it. Tie him up when you need to. The other guy is just running forward. That's going to happen. Arthur needs to be sensible here. Pick him off on the way in. Come on, Arthur, keep it simple. Keep it simple. God, I haven't been this nervous for a long time. Arthur, 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 Arthur. That's it, stiff jump. That's it, that's it. Sorry. I can't contain myself. Oh. It's a much better round for Arthur, a much better round. He's meeting fire with fire, he's being sensible, he's sticking the jab, he's sticking the right hand, and we like what we're seeing. Other guy coming back here, Arthur fighting off the ropes, turn him, spin him. The other guy's getting tired, Arthur! He's getting tired! He's getting tired! He's getting tired! The other guy getting tired here, but to be fair to the other guy, He's a good little fighter. He's meeting fire with fire too. It's a great fight. Two tough competitors in there. That's what we like to see. Come on, Arthur. He's tiring, my friend. That's it. And again, lad, keep it simple. And again, lad. That's it, lad. Get him. That's it. That's it. Another crisp right hand landed there. Keep it simple. Another crisp right hand landed there from Arthur. Arthur much better now, much more poised. Much more poised. That's a good second round. I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to say Arthur won that second round. I think it's all on the last round, folks. I think it's all on the last round. Come on, man. I think he needs to keep his composure, keep his focus, throw his jab, crisp right hands, and we've got this one. The other guy's tiring. He's a good fighter, but he's throwing hooks. He's tired. And he's there for the taking. Let's get that mother out of here! Arthur, keep it simple! Keep it simple! Keep it simple. <laughs> okay, last round of touch gloves. That's good to see a sign of respect. We like to see that. But I've, I want him to win! Come on, Arthur! Right hand! Yeah! Yes! Cross right hand! Nice flush right hand again. This is a great fight. Two great competitors here. We love to see this. We love to see this. He's keeping his distance. Come on, Arthur. Three room, top up. Back up. He's, he's in the clinch there. I can't commentate. I'm too excited. I can't commentate. Oh, man. Arthur looking good here. Arthur looking good here. He's throwing balanced shots. He's throwing fantastic balanced shots. Tie him up. Good lad, Arthur. The other guy's looking tired. The other guy wants a way out. He's getting tired. Step on him. He's tired. He's tired. He's tired. He's tired. Straight shots. Straight shots here we need. We need straight shots down the middle from Arthur here. Arthur looking at military training has paid off. He's looking fit. He's looking good. Just time up there, Arthur. Spin him around. The other blue guy still got some in the tank. It's a great fight. Great shots then. Do him, Arthur. Oh God, this is good. Oh God, this is good. This is what I like to see. Come on, Arthur, step in now. That's it, lads. 
Keep it simple, brother. Keep it simple. Jump right hand. Whoa, on the break, ref. On the break, ref. On the break. Name on the break. Waiting for the break, then hit him. Typical pussy move there. Strap to be adjusted. That's very normal in a white collar fight. That's all good. It's neck and neck going into the last 30 seconds here. It's been a tough battle. Some points here. We need some. We need some flush shots. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Come on. Fight. I think it's in the balance here, guys. I'm not sure who it's going to go to. I'm not sure who it's going to go to. To be honest with you, I'd be happy with a draw. I'd be happy with a draw here, guys. Fantastic effort. True bottle shown by both fighters. Fantastic. I knew Arthur had it in him. He's just proved it there. He didn't take a backward step. He stayed centre of the ring. He traded, he showed he was a true man. Warrior things, Aguan. I'm going patois for you. And I'm telling you now, that was a great fight. That was brilliant. <laughs> Respect shown at the end of the fight. It's like, guys, it's close. It could go either way. It could go a draw. I'm not sure. Could go either way or it could go a draw. We're waiting for the we're waiting for the uh, result as we speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Fantastic fight, and it's a draw, guys. And that's a fair result. Two great warriors. Two great warriors. Well done. Well done. Two fantastic warriors. They traded punches. They stood to the middle. I can't even do my job properly. I was so excited. That's how excited I am. The adrenaline's kicked in, and I've just lost the plot. I don't normally lose my plot. I'm a pro. That was brilliant. 29-29. A draw. Hey, Arthur, the King Pew, remains undefeated. Bitches. I've got the great pleasure of being joined here by Mr. Ben Day, the entertainer. The entertainer. The entertainer. Never forget that. First things first, we're at your show here, Clash of the Titans, your white collar show. Buzzing crowds. Do you like I've it? I've lost my voice. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 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 What do you make of it? A success for you? Well, what it is, it's we, we work in house, yeah. all right? So we don't work with any other clubs. Yeah. It's strictly, 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 strictly. Um, working for some a charity, some some Mark's Hospital, yeah, right? and and your bro your brother-in-law, um, what's technically brilliant, yeah. may I add, yeah. um, but and the other the Shout other guy from the man here, yeah, um, but the other guy was a bit more aggressive, so I think yeah. I think he deserved a draw, don't you? The draw was fair. One thing, white collar boxing is getting massive in, in in everywhere you go, London, Manchester, everywhere. What one one or two tips could you give a white collar fighter going in there for their first time? Don't trust anyone. Don't trust anyone. Don't trust anyone, no. Right. Because I've seen too many mismatches. Yeah, I've, yeah, yeah. I've seen too many uh, people with um, gut respirators yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that's why I will not go to another club. Right. And it is Terry, because I've seen people, look, these people with their families and their friends watching, and I've seen exactly. people getting knocked out. And, and you know what? Even if it was like someone coming from another club, yeah. it's, it's their safety. Yeah. Their safety and the safety. I want nothing on my conscience. 
exactly. you know, and it's you guys have heard it. If you want, if you want a safe setup and a fantastic night out, you need to go down to Ringtone Gym. I, I didn't, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not actually. I'm not. I'm not even selling it. You know, okay. like we, 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 we do one, one a year, right? Yeah, 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 um, yeah. I just, I just quality, not quantity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you put loads on, there'll be a load of crap, and you, and it, it, it won't have this atmosphere. You yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. Are you buzzing? I'm fucking buzzing. Let's get naked. Well, we need a nickname for you after that. How about the warrior? I'll take the warrior. Yeah. I, I could be a lot worse than that. It could be Pugnacious Pew. That was a <laughs> that was the highest contender so far. Now listen, you looked a bit nervous in the first round of that fight. Were you feeling nervous? Uh, I, I wasn't feeling. I, I wasn't feeling that nervous, but yeah. I, I definitely was. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was doing random stuff with yeah. my hands. Exactly the you stuff you told me not panicky. to do. You looked a bit panicky, and your calves looked a little bit unsteady, but I think that was nerves. Yeah, no, it's a tactic. Yeah, um, and you went back in the corner after round one, and, and you probably did lose the first round. Yeah. What did your corner people tell you? They basically said, move, yeah. get out of the way, because what I was he's he was getting me a yeah. lot, and I was yeah. feeling the thud yeah. of every punch. But, and I could take a punch, but I was feeling them. And, I, and they just said, get out of the way, jab away, move around, tire them out. Yeah. And that's what I tried to do. And it, it, well, you came out in the second round completely refreshed, it looked like. You mm. were throwing straight shots. You were catching him with, catching him with a beautiful straight down the middle combination. Mm. And it really worked. You proved you could stand man to man and tough it out. The adrenaline rush. Now, let's just talk about the second round where you started to catch him flush. Yeah. How did that feel, catching a man flush? Yeah, I mean, when you get a couple of punches on the run yeah. you're like yeah, yeah this is great yeah. you can do this and then unfortunately a, a rainstorm comes back yeah and you're like oh all right yeah but you, the crowd was going mad did you could you hear us yeah i could hear a few when they started shouting arthur pew i thought it was very polite yeah but they were called me arthur pew i'm glad that everyone used my full name i mean it's like six round, months it was even yeah right you pulled to me at one point he pressed you back and actually he was winning that third round but you stood your ground and you fired back did you have a sense of how close it was in that third round? No, honestly, I, th I thought I'd just got beaten up. No. Honestly, the, the, no. particularly the round one, I just thought I'd just been no, beaten no. up. Listen, you know me. So I'm you. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yes, there you go. Legend over here. Now, listen, you know for a fact I wouldn't <laughs> you. Oh, that's a fact I didn't think that. you had that much in your locker. Yeah. You've really proved something tonight. Yeah. You've proved you are tough as A worthy, worthy brother-in-law. Worthy brother-in-law and more than that. And just... Tell, tell me how you feel now after having finished. What's the sensation? I, I've wanted to do this for years. Like I've always loved wrestling. I've got a half brother, but he grew up elsewhere, so I couldn't fight him. So my sisters were just putty. <laughs> I joined the army, did stuff like that. I love fighting. I just love having a ruck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've always fancied, but I never did it. And it's actually when I saw this guy do a white collar that I actually thought. Now's the time. I'm gonna, I'm 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's now or never. You're not getting any younger, I'm are you? Not son? getting any younger. And I, I, picked, I, joints. I picked up a terrible injury, yeah. which almost I thought I was going to his bell end. Two weeks ago, I couldn't, I couldn't walk. I literally didn't. No, he really bell. couldn't. No, yeah, he really couldn't. Not due to that. And uh, I literally <laughs> couldn't walk. I've, I've been to the physio about six times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saw so a back specialist, paid, shed loads of money to get yeah. it checked. And just ignored the pain, and I'm so pleased I did because Mate, you know, did it's, it's absolutely it's gym, brilliant. Yeah. The one thing though is, you're wearing a vest. Did you not think about shaving these little bits on the side? No, to be honest, I think that is what that's, that's what got me the draw. To be honest, um, from start to finish, it's been an epic journey by the looks of it. Yeah, it's been a been. really epic journey, a great build-up. Would you change anything? I picked up a lot of tips towards the end. So speaking to you, speaking to two sleek colleague, I'm very grateful for. Uh, I got a couple of uh, one-to-ones at the ringtone. And I just learned so much more at the very end. I yeah, wish yeah, yeah. I'd done that at the beginning, yeah. and then I would have been in a different place now. Because I, I survived. Different but place. I, you didn't just survive. You stood toe to toe. You fought yeah. a guy who was technically slightly better, but you actually, you basically won it and dr got the draw with spirit. Yeah. And that's more important. Yeah. Yeah. Can, I, can we say power? We yeah, I've copyrighted it, but it's okay. We'll do it after three. One, two, three. Power! power!